my friends, Jacob is here once again. Happy Tuesday to you. I'm glad that you're here, and I'm glad that I probably just popped the stitch in my mouth. Yeah, that's right. That's what I just did. See, that's what happens because I'm so happy when I come on here to talk to all of you about all the craziness going on in the world. So I can't contain myself, and I got to smile. It still hurts. My jaw still hurts, but I'm doing great. I'm doing great. And I want to thank all of you for all the wonderful things that you uh, have done over the last 24 to 48 hours. And you know who I'm talking about. I love all of you so much. So important to reach out and to help people. And um, what you've done for George's family is it's just a beautiful thing. I'm grateful. If you haven't seen the show, it's a show that I did just before. Anyway, today we're talking about um, talking about some crazy conspiracy stuff, some real spooky, spooky stuff going down at the White House, right? It's Halloween. The Donald Trump, the President of the United States, and Melania, the First Lady, they met trick or treaters of all kinds, of all sorts, of all ages and heights, and oh, it was craziness. That's not the scary conspiracy part. In the middle of all this, as if staged, as if done on purpose, as if symbolically laid out there so I had material to come and talk to you, Donald Trump took a serpent staff from an Egyptian queen or goddess and cursed the media. That's right, that's what it says. That's what it says on there, Sput Sputnik News. I saw that, the, uh, just, uh, just, uh, eh, like before I'm doing this video, Sputnik News. They're like, Donald Trump, he is going to curse media with Jafar staff from Aladdin, it was terrible. <laughs> I just love doing the accent. I'm sorry. I know it's I know a lot of people from Russia that they watch the show. They say that it's okay and you like it. And I go, da, it is wonderful. Good thing for me to make joy with the funny voice that I have when I try to uh, sound like I am Russian. Moving on. So at Halloween, they have this, uh, they have this little get together. But you know, the news, the news, they're, uh, they're an amazing organization, right? They, uh, owned by like five people. All of media, all of media. It's crazy. It's crazy the world we're living in right now. It really is. It's bonkers. It really is bonkers. It's bonkers that this is what I'm talking to you about. About the fact that, you know, the, uh, now making the circuit is the fact that Donald Trump, in an irresponsible way, he took the uh, cobra-headed staff from one of the trick-or-treaters and he cursed the media by casting some kind of ancient spell. And he did it not once, not twice, three times. And then he looked to his friend and he says, do you know what I'm doing? And then his friend's like, oh yeah, yeah. And then he did it again. So that's the news. Donald Trump, magic spells, black magic, witchcraft, all that stuff, right? I don't know. I think it was just kind of a goofy little moment that they were having, but you know me. Nothing happens just by accident. Nothing happens just by chance. Everything has a deeper meaning. And it is interesting that right next to this Egyptian queen, right, uh, with, was, was a unicorn. Now, isn't that strange? Isn't that strange? Now, a lot of you are saying, that's not strange at all. What do you mean? How is that strange? Unicorns are a, co uh, a costume that everybody sees. Well, you know what's weird about that? Was that I just saw True Stream Media just did something about unicorns. The unicorns, right? Just did a whole thing about the symbolism of it. And then here, all of a sudden, I stumble upon this, and I see the unicorn, and then I see the, uh, the Egyptian queen. And you know that I've talked about the... Um, the, the, that all of Hollywood seems to be calling and beckoning for the queen to return, you know? The queen of heaven, queen of Babylon, mystery Babylon, the harlot. That's not what the girl was dressed as, I'm sure. It was probably just like an Egyptian thing. But isn't that strange though? You know, a, a golden brazen serpent, a bronze serpent on a, a staff and Donald Trump taking that staff as if making a deal with the Sultan himself. that picture when he was over the globe Ooh, right a lot of people were, were saying that was interesting too so here's the big question right how do you take a show like this and don't sound like a total lunatic right because 
Uh, is he really casting a spell on the media? I'm sure uh, he probably is, right? He probably is. In the grand scheme of things, right? And that's what he's doing anyway. You think about it, just by doing that, cast everybody under its spell of what's going on. And I know that you all, you all, uh, you all see it for what it is, just uh, a kind of a goofy moment. But on the flip side of the coin, then everybody can take this goofy moment and then he can twist it and turn it on its side and make it out to be something that perhaps it isn't, but yet it is. Now, the serpent, let's talk about the serpent symbolism for a second. The serpent is very devious, right? It's the most subtle of all. It was the, the serpent was in the garden, in the, in the garden, and it tricked Eve into taking of the fruit of that tree and knowledge of good and evil. The serpent's tricky. And Scripture, the serpent many times is the deceiver, uh, the devil, if you will. That was the liar from the beginning. Now, here's a little interesting little trivia for you. Do you know that the Israelites, when they were in the wilderness, there was a time when they were all getting bit by serpents, getting bit by like these snakes. These things were coming out at night and they were killing them. So much so they didn't know why everybody was dying. Everybody was dying because they were getting bit by these snakes, right? So what did what did uh what had to happen was was uh Moses had to take a um, you know they they call it the brazen serpent. He took this they, he made this serpent and uh, fool's gold, copper, you know, bronze, and put it on the staff and showed everybody so everybody understood what was literally killing them, which then turns out to be a picture of Jesus being put to death on the cross many many years later. I'm not getting into that because that's a whole topic that's going to take a whole show because it's not what you think. But the bottom line is, if you think about this serpent that's hanging on this, right, this rod, if you will, it's what was killing people. And what, is, what kills you? To be carnally minded is death. The carnal mind, ignorance, the liar, the idea of who you think you are but you are not. The snake hanging from the tree in the middle of the garden. It's just like the reptilian brain, the uh, snake, uh, the brain stem. smack dab in the middle, which is where we get our fight or flight and all that good stuff from. Not our higher thinking, but our lower thinking, keeping us trapped down here. Moses had to uh, show everybody what was killing him. It's this, this is what's killing you guys. It's your ego. It's your idea of who you think you are. It's the, um, it's the fruit of that tree that gets you curious over whether or not there was a literal magic spell that went down on the White House lawn. So weird. Far staff with the uh, the cobra with the spooky eyes, the serpent, right? Spooky gets you to do things, puts you under its spell. You see what I'm saying? That's why I think it's the irony, the irony of the fact that he used this very symbol of control and you know almost illusion. You know what a wizard would use, if you will, to cast a spell on the media. Do you see what I mean? So whether it was done on purpose or not, there you have it. There you have all of the symbolism going down at the exact same time. And of course, then the media takes it and then says, Telling the truth, Trump. What was he thinking, man? Really not cool. Not cool to cast a spell on the media in front of a child. What kind of, kind of, uh, kind of, um, kind of message does that, does that, does that, um, does that send? Doesn't send a good message. Doesn't send a good message at all. Should be cursing people with, with plastic snake things. So what's the lesson from all this goofy, uh, you know, fake news is... We don't have to be under the spell of that serpent anymore. You know, we've all been given some kind of authority in our life. We've all been given a, a rod. We've all been given a position of authority in this world. And if we're going to cast it into the earth, it will most certainly become a serpent. It will become something that hurts us and torments us and lies us and deceives us. And if we throw that authority down at Pharaoh's feet, it will become a serpent, you know, just like all of those who sacrifice onto the, uh, the lies of mankind, which is what the serpent is, really, the tempter, the one that's smack dab in the middle of the, uh, the garden saying, surely you won't die if you do this, surely. <laughs> we don't have to be under that spell no more. 
And how do we get out from um, underneath the liar's web? How do we get out from all of this stuff? How do we keep from being part of the ignorant herd? We start living our life and we start seeking more and we start understanding that who we are is not who the serpent says we are, but who God called us to be. Remember the power of life and death resides in your tongue, so choose life. That means that you gotta love, and if you love, that means you can't hate, right? Be a light in this world, and I guarantee you will see the world brighten each day from that point on. I love each and every one of you. I hope you do subscribe, share, do what you gotta do, check the bell, and um, have the best day ever. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.